Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, but they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Now that you know hidden covenants give the kingdom of darkness access to your life, regardless if you walked away from religion, you need to know how the workers of iniquity continue to order your steps outside of religion, as well as how the synagogue of Satan reestablished covenants in your life. By now, you all should know that witchcraft is a spiritual attack. All forms of sorcery are spiritual attacks. Israelites, it's very important for you to know that your enemies are not fighting you in the flesh. They war with you in the spirit. If you defeat your enemies in the spirit, they will fall in the flesh. Israelites and Gentiles, that is why the Most High warned us in the book of Ephesians. The scripture said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Fighting flesh is a waste of time. Many Israelites and Gentiles are taught to fight in the flesh. When you allow racism and discrimination of all sorts to take over your life, you're fighting in the flesh. For multiple generations, the synagogue of Satan have the indigenous black people focusing on racism and discrimination. Israelites and Gentiles, the time have come for you to realize that discrimination in all forms are wars that are flesh-based. You will never overcome your enemies if you're fighting wars that are focused on the flesh. Discrimination is based on race, gender, and sexual orientation. All three of these things are flesh-focused. A person's race, gender, and sexual orientation has nothing to do with the spirit. When you're fighting wars that are flesh-based, you won't have the help of the Most High. We cannot please the Most High in the flesh. The Most High does nothing according to the flesh. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. For multiple generations, the indigenous black people have been spinning the block on the war on racism and discrimination. No real breakthrough came for the indigenous black people in the war against racism and discrimination. The indigenous black people are treated unfairly in everything until this day. If progress was made, the slave patrol wouldn't be targeting you and killing you on sight every chance they get. The Satans have you fighting wars that are flesh-based and visible to your eyes, while the spiritual war against you are ignored. The scripture said in the book of Ephesians that our battles is with principalities and powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. The wars we should be focusing on are the wars that are targeting your spirit. If the kingdom of darkness defeats you in the spirit realm, you will be a bond man and bond women and under their control until you learn how to utilize the power and authority the Most High gave to you. The Most High gave you power to trodden down scorpions and serpents and all your enemies. The scriptures went on to say, by no means can they hurt you. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. This authority was given to the people by the Most High to overcome their enemies. Today, the people of the Most High have no power over their enemies. The kingdom of darkness seems to have total control over their life. Principalities and powers, as well as the rulers of the darkness of this world, are spiritual beings. The spiritual wickedness in high places are dealing with evil, wicked, fallen angels. The angels, whether holy or fallen, are spiritual beings. Why are we fighting wars that are based on the flesh? 
Flesh wars stems from spiritual wars taking place behind the scenes. Your enemies have defeated you in the war against racism and discrimination. Your enemies have defeated you in many aspects of your life, which is why your oppressors rule over you. In addition, you have no might to stand against your enemies. That is the result of a people that are wasting their time fighting wars based on the flesh. When you begin to look at the invisible enemies and not look at the things that are seen, you will see how your life begins to change. The scripture said, we should not look on the things that are seen, but the unseen. For we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Too many people cannot look past what's in front of them. If they could look past the eyes of the flesh, they would see the kingdom of darkness as the root cause to all of their troubles. In the awakening, some Israelites base all of their failures and troubles on Esau. Outside of the awakening, the Israelites base their suffering on racism and discrimination. None of the Israelites, whether in the awakening or outside of the awakening, are focusing on the root cause to their troubles. All they see is flesh. Your oppressors will continue to rule over you if you can't look past the flesh. The scriptures in the book of 2 Corinthians said the unseen things are eternal. The scriptures went on to say that we should focus on the unseen. Israelites, what unseen problems do you have that you're focusing on? How many of you are aware of the unseen things that are affecting your daily life? Racism and discrimination are a distraction to keep you from fighting your enemies in the spirit. The life the indigenous black people live shows that they are losing many battles. The Israelites and indigenous black people will continue to lose the battles if they don't increase their knowledge. Israelites don't perish for a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. The Most High sent the spirit of truth into the world to increase our knowledge. Stop rejecting knowledge. Since we have been focusing on the most wonderful time of the year, I will continue to show you how this season is used to keep you in bondage. When you establish the hidden covenants, the covenants give the kingdom of darkness the access they need to present to you their offerings. Israelites, beware of Satan's offers. The Most High made it very clear to us in the scriptures that we should make no covenants with the heathens and with their gods. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. The indigenous black people tend to make covenants with their enemies, believing their enemies will do right by them. Every time the indigenous black people accept the heathens' offers, their enemies turn around and destroy them. What amazes me is how the indigenous black people are shocked afterwards. Make no covenant with the heathens and with their gods. Israelites are making marriage covenants with their enemies. They are making leadership covenants when they vote for a heathen to rule over them. They're making covenants with the heathen's government to provide for them. They make covenants with the God of this world when they accept him as their Lord and Savior. The Israelites ignore the scripture about making covenants with their enemies, then complain when their oppressors rule over them with a rod of iron. Israelites, the time have come for you to stop accepting Satan's offers. Trust the Most High to help you. Satan cannot fulfill any of the promises he makes to you. O Adam, ask him who deceived thee to give thee the divine nature he promised thee, or to make thee a garden as I had made for thee, or to fill thee with that same bright nature with which I had filled thee. Ask him to make thee a body like the one I made thee, or to give thee a day of rest as I gave thee, or to create within thee a reasonable soul as I did create for thee, or to remove thee hence to some other earth than this one which I gave thee. But, O Adam, he will not fulfill even one of the things he told thee. It doesn't take much to make Satan king over you. Adam and Eve believed Satan, and they lost everything, and their life was ruined. 
But now, O Adam, by reason of thy fall, thou art under my rule, and I am king over thee. Because thou hast hearkened to me, and hast transgressed against thy God, neither would there be any deliverance from my hands until the day promised thee by thy God. How many times will you allow the heathens to ruin your life for you to see that they don't have your best interests at heart, nor will they do right by you? If they wanted to balance the field, they would stop making discriminatory laws and shady business behind the scenes. The time have come for you to stop falling for their illusions. Reject Satan through the heathens they operate in. The covenants you establish with the heathens and with their gods open the doors to the kingdom of darkness to make all sorts of offerings to you. What most of you are unaware of is that when you make the evil covenants at the evil altars that are in the temples and businesses of the heathens, it doesn't stop there. The spiritual attacks takes place when you sleep. The scripture said while men slept, the enemy came and sowed tares and went his way. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. I often use this scripture to talk about the tares we live among. However, the time have come for you to know about the tares the enemy sow into your life while you sleep. The Satans through the heathens have sown many tares in the lives of the indigenous black people and went their way. Most Israelites are unaware of those tares that are infecting their life. Your enemies have sown tares of poverty, division, hate, lust, and countless other tares that disabled the indigenous black people. They sow these tares while you were sleeping. Not too many people pay attention to their dreams. Religion doesn't teach the people anything about dreams and visions. They even fail to tell the people that the scriptures are a collection of dreams and visions from the prophets of old. The Most High spoke to his prophets in a dream. The scripture said in the book of Numbers, If there's a prophet among you, I will make myself known to him in a vision and speak to him in a dream. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. The Most High said he will make himself known in a vision and speak in a dream. I don't know why religion don't teach the people about their dreams. Religion establishes itself as all-knowing in the road that leads to the Most High. If the high-level workers of iniquity was leading you to the Most High in religion, they would teach you about everything. Instead of teaching the people the truth, they hide the truth and promote their falsehoods through doctrines of devils. If religion was of the Most High, the people wouldn't be perishing from a lack of knowledge. The awakening wouldn't be where the people hear about the Most High communicating with them in a dream for the first time. Religion should have break this truth to you from the very beginning. The reason the workers of iniquity don't teach about your dreams, they don't want the people to become free from the strongholds they put over them through religion. While you were sleeping, the enemy saw tears and went his way. Through your dreams is how the Most High is revealing the attacks against you. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction. The Most High is revealing the tares that was planted while you were sleeping. The attacks that are done by sorcery, the workers of iniquity often cause the victims to forget their dreams. If you're a person that forget your dreams or you don't know if you dream, you're under heavy witchcraft attacks. You dream every time you sleep. The Most High allow you to see what is being done to you in the spirit realm through your dream life. The workers of iniquity want you to be ignorant to their attacks. Therefore, they send a spirit that caused you to forget your dreams. If you're a person that is aware of the attacks done while you're sleeping, the workers of iniquity is hoping that by you forgetting what you saw will cause you to let your guard down and not cancel the covenants established in the dream. Israelites, don't become lazy about your spiritual journey. You have to put on the whole armor of the Most High. The attacks against you will never stop. Put on the whole armor of God. 
that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Your enemies will attack you every chance they get. Don't ever put your guard down. You must be vigilant. If you are successful in casting out a devil, you will find rest for a period of time. Know that the devil will return. The devil will return with other devils stronger than itself to overcome you. It's important that you live a life that don't invite unclean spirits into your life. We live in a society where we have to enter the heathens' establishments to buy our daily essentials. Unfortunately, these heathens don't serve the God of Israel, but idols. They honor their idols in their businesses. As consumers, we are interacting with their idols unawares. Now that you are aware of the way the heathens war against you in the spirit, you must put on the armor to stand against your enemies. We are the end time generation. The Most High said we will prophesy, dream dreams, and have visions. If you belong to the Most High, you should be dreaming and communicating with the Most High in the spirit realm, your dream life. And it shall come to pass, in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. As the end time generation, how are you communicating with the most high if you're not dreaming? You heard the scripture that confirmed the most high would speak to you in a dream. Also, the most high said in the last days, he will cause his people to prophesy and dream dreams. If your eyes have been closed to the spirit realm, that is a sign that you need to seek deliverance. Israelites, it's a privilege to be able to see into the spirit realm. Take advantage of the spiritual insight the Most High have given to you through your dream life. If the kingdom of darkness managed to close your eyes from seeing into the spirit realm, seek deliverance through prayer and fasting to recover your sight. Many of us, regardless if you're righteous, have the idols of the heathens planting tares into our lives while we are sleeping. The evil altars the heathens have built to their idols all over the world give your enemies access. Remember, the heathens have incorporated their paganism in every aspect of their life. Even when you believe you're not interacting with idols, you are. The heathens have altars in their place of business. Some disguise their altars under religion. The altars that are not built to the most high are evil altars. We know that the earth is in the hands of the wicked. The spiritual wickedness that rule this world with Satan serve the God of this world. That is how the prince of the power of this world is operating in the children of disobedience. Wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Israelites and Gentiles, when we interact with the heathens' evil altars, in addition, when you accept cursed gifts or interact with cursed objects, it gives the workers of iniquity access to send unclean spirits against you. That is why we're constantly at war. The attacks never stop. We are in the season where people will be exchanging gifts, eating candies from strangers, most people will be eating all kinds of abominable food purchased from grocery stores that are owned by pagans. While people are in the spirit of giving and showing kindness, the workers of iniquity utilize this time to get the people to interact with cursed objects and cursed gifts. Israelites, do you remember how the other species of mankind conquered the world? They came to the indigenous black people with gifts. They hide their real intention behind the gifts and terrible food they brought. While the indigenous people believed they was interacting with peacemakers that was curious about their culture, the indigenous people were revealing their secrets to devils unawares. The workers of iniquity often disguise themselves as nice and sincere people. Israelites, don't let their mask fool you. The other species of mankind control all the land in this world because they deceived the indigenous black people into believing they were friendly. The enmity quickly surfaced once the indigenous black people let their guard down. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel.
Israelites, which is why we must be vigilant at all time. We desire peace and we can have peace if we ask the Most High to give us his perfect peace. Know that as long as we live here, spiritual warfare is ongoing. The more you increase your knowledge, you will be well off. You will be able to recognize an attack before it's too late. Israelites, you must take advantage of the truth the Most High sent into this world. Don't let the Satans cause you to reject truth. The truth is designed by the Most High to make you free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Israelites, when you interact with cursed objects and accept cursed gifts from workers of iniquity, as well as praying to idols in religion, all of this give the Satans access to your life. The blind covenants you establish in the beast system give the Satans access. It's through those covenants the workers of iniquity are fighting against you. While the indigenous black people believe they are fighting flesh wars with their enemies that make themselves appear to be fighting in the flesh, behind the scenes they are doing rituals and giving their idols sacrifices to send unclean spirits against you. The more you worship their idols and celebrate their pagan holidays, the synagogue of Satan gains the opportunity to attack you in the spirit. Israelites, the workers of iniquity are devoted to their idols. They will do anything to make sure they keep their foot on your necks. They will continue to give their idols sacrifices and do the rituals behind the scenes to maintain control over you. That is how they are fighting you in the spirit. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. The indigenous black people believe the other species of mankind is the root cause to their troubles. Israelites, listen to the scriptures. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. The other species of mankind are flesh and blood. If you believe forcing the other species of mankind to change laws and to treat you fairly will cause the demons they send against you to flee, you will lose the battle every time. Even the victories they allow you to have are not real victories if you're fighting flesh while your enemies fight against you in the spirit. Spiritual attacks is how the workers of iniquity is fighting against the indigenous black people. While most Israelites and Gentiles are expressing themselves on social media and trying to rally a large number of people to agree with them, the synagogue of Satan is fighting against them in the spirit by sending unclean spirits to recover everything they gave to you. When the workers of iniquity send the spirit of infirmity in the form of COVID, getting vaccinated is not going to cause the spirit of infirmity to flee. The Messiah casts out devils with his words. When the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all that were sick. Israelites, it's very important for you to understand how your enemies fight against you. Everything is a spirit. Love is a spirit. Peace is a spirit. Sickness is a spirit. The spirit of infirmity. If the workers of iniquity are planting these tares into your life while you sleep, why don't you send those unclean spirits back to the sender? You have the ability to send those devils back. Remember, the Most High gave you power over the entire kingdom of darkness. When you begin to send those devils back to sender by praying and fasting along with praising the Most High, that is how you fight back in the spirit. Israelites, make sure you're praying to the Most High and not to the idols the heathens told you was the Most High in the flesh. The Messiah that came in his own name, that the world accepted as God the Father in the flesh, is not the Most High in the flesh, nor is he the Most High. Israelites, it's important for you to know what you worship. When you give the Most High a sacrifice of prayer and fasting along with praising, you can use the same words the Messiah used to cast out devils. The Most High said his words will not return to him void. His words will do what he sent them to do. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, 
and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. I know many of you have had dreams where someone stole your purse, wallet, car, or something that belongs to you in a dream. How did you deal with the attack? The spirit of poverty just robbed you. How did you recover your belongings? Israelites, we are the end time generation. We must know how to respond. Someone sent the spirit of poverty against you. This could have happened when you engage with an evil altar in a religious temple, business, or through a cursed object. Sin can also give the Satan's opportunity to sow tares in your life. How did you respond when an unclean spirit robbed you in the spirit realm? Take the time to meditate on my question. Most people ignore the dream. If you ignore the dream, the spirit of poverty have control over your finances. This is how your enemies are attacking you, Israelites and Gentiles. You don't live in the land of your friends and allies. You live in the land of your enemies among heathens. The Most High said this truth to you repeatedly in the scriptures. And ye shall perish among the heathen, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And they that are left of you shall pine away in their iniquity in your enemies' lands. And also in the iniquities of their fathers shall they pine away with them. Israelites, you don't have allies, you have enemies. The word of the Most High revealed this to be truth. Social media is the latest way witches and warlocks are getting people to participate in their abominations. From social media, sorcerers can download your pictures to put on their evil altars. Social media gives the workers of iniquity access to you and your family. Oversharing on social media is not good for the remnant. If you're a person that's truly serving the Most High, you would know the importance of living a quiet life. Oftentimes, after you interact with evil altars and cursed objects, you will see yourself eating in the dream, someone stealing your belongings, being shot at, getting married, having sex in the dream. You will see your spirit engaging in all kinds of things in the spirit realm. Most people, when they see these things, they ignore the dream. When you ignore the dream, the workers of iniquity successfully reestablish old covenants and establish new covenants. What most people don't know is that everything that takes place in the spirit realm will manifest in the physical realm. If the workers of iniquity were successful in robbing you in the spirit realm, you will begin to see the spirit of poverty taking all your money. Israelites, that is how the workers of iniquity attack you in the spirit while you're fighting back in the flesh. It's important to get to the root. The way the spirit of poverty can rob you is through high interest rates, overdrafting your accounts, unexpected repairs, mismanaging your finances, and many other ways the spirit of poverty comes to enforce the covenant in the physical realm. Israelites and Gentiles, it's truth like this that prevent you from becoming prey to your enemies. Your enemies will attack you by sending unclean spirits against you when you interact with their evil altars and cursed objects in the beast system. While the heathens are attacking you in the spirit through sorcery, the indigenous black people are protesting to fight back. The devil won't flee from you by protesting. That is why you must get to the root to eliminate the problem. The heathens have laws to protect their interests. What they give to you, they will take back by sending unclean spirits against you. That is why the indigenous black people spin the block in every generation and no progress is made in the black community. The indigenous black people's community are deteriorating instead of improving. You must recognize spiritual attacks and respond accordingly. Fasting, praying, and praising the Most High will get a devil to flee. Albeit this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. We must fast throughout the year, but during the most wonderful time of the year, you must increase your fasting. Israelites, the heathens don't want us to establish ourselves so they can keep us engaging with their evil altars. Besides their fear of us doing to them as they have done to us, when we have our own, we will no longer interact with their idols through evil altars they place all over the world. When we have our own, they won't be able to reestablish or make new covenants with us unawares. 
That is why they burned down every town we've ever made to establish ourselves. They sabotage or buy every successful business created by us to prevent us from building a solid community. Israelites, the time have come for you to know your enemies are always looking for ways to keep you from rising. You must stop focusing on discrimination and focus on the unseen to achieve greater victories over your enemies. If you defeat your enemies in the spirit realm, it will manifest in the physical realm. If the spirit of poverty comes to steal your wallet in the spirit realm, if you fight back and prevent the devil from stealing your wallet, the spirit of poverty lost access to stealing your money. When they lose access, the heathens also lose access. Israelites, the time have come for you to elevate in your spiritual journey to properly deal with the sorcery being done against you. Resist the devils and they will flee from you. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. If Israelites all over the world understand this message and begin to resist the devils that come to rob them while they are sleeping, you will see how the indigenous black people reclaim everything that was stolen from them. Your enemies will give their idols greater sacrifices to control you. If you know how to counter their attacks, you can return to them the evil they have sent to you. When you make no covenants with the idols and return to serving the Most High, your prayers will be heard by the Most High and the Father will respond to your prayers. There won't be a separation between you and the Most High. You can pray for blindness to come upon your enemies like Elijah did and it will be done. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and said, Smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. Israelites and Gentiles, it may appear as if the synagogue of Satan have disabled us in every aspect of our lives. The synagogue of Satan are only successful because the people lack knowledge. Once you gain wisdom and understanding, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. For some people, the God of this world have blind their eyes. They cannot see nor understand the gospel of the kingdom. We are living at the time where the gospel of the kingdom is being heard in all kingdoms as a witness to all nations. Don't let the Satans blind your eyes with the spirit of pride. The truth that is in the world right now is not going to confirm the doctrines of devils in religion, nor the altered history taught to us by the heathens. The truth will expose what was hidden. Remember, everything hidden will be made manifest and everything secret will be revealed. But nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Israelites and Gentiles, as the Most High is making everything hidden come to light and all secrets reveal, take advantage of the truth. Don't fight against the truth. If you truly want to become free from the synagogue of Satan's bondage, you will have an ear to hear. Don't let the Satan's steal the good seed the Most High is planting in you. The time have come for you to fight in the spirit. Don't allow unclean spirits to order your steps. The Most High should be the one to order your steps. Don't let the heathens' pagan traditions close your eyes to what's in front of you. Israelites, ask the Most High to give you eyes to see and ears to hear. Incline your ear and come unto me, ear, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Behold. I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and commander to the people. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God, and for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee.